It's taken decades, but finally First Nations in B.C. were heard, and the message was received by governments and industry that wild salmon must be saved. And that starts with the gradual closing down of open net fish farms in the Broughton Archipelago. Enough is enough that it's time that we insist and demand and pursue justice for the wild salmon in our territories. Fish farming has been controversial over the years, with scientists and First Nations warning that migrating young salmon were being affected by dangerous viruses from the fish farms. The tensions prompted First Nations leaders to evict the companies from their traditional territory, and when that didn't work, on the water blockades were held. Injunctions were granted in the courts to end those blockades, but when the NDP government were elected, new negotiations began. But at our core, at our focus, we have been focused on wild salmon and the importance to the people of the coast, but more importantly, to Indigenous peoples who have depended on salmon for thousands of years. And now, thanks to an agreement between First Nations in the area, the B.C. government and two companies, Marine Harvest and Cermak, any company wanting to establish a fish farm in the near future will have to have final approval by First Nations and meet strict guidelines by fisheries and oceans that their farm will not have adverse effects on wild salmon. And what I kept hearing from you time and time again, and we heard from the province time and time again, is the concern for the people that have employment. And so we had to strike a balance between the needs of our people and the needs of industry. And I believe we have done that expertly. The plan means that four farms will close next year, two more in 2020, and four more in 2022. The remaining seven farm tenures will also end after that if they don't have approval by First Nations and license granted by Fisheries and Oceans. Tina House, APTN National News, Victoria.